Hello again and welcome to another webcast from Erwin. Continuing the theme of APIs, this third in the series, we'll be looking at how you can integrate Microsoft Excel with Erwin EA Agile. This quick tutorial will show you how to connect the data source up, then use some of the data manipulation elements of Excel to be able to extract this information into a useful form to be used within your Excel sheet. So let's drill straight in. First, we want to go to the data tab and select to import from the web. Enter the URL to the data that you wish to extract. More details on this can be found in the help. When you choose connect, choose a basic connection and use a username and password. Pressing connect will make a connection and download the data from the site. It'll then open up an editor to allow you to choose how to adjust the data. Firstly, we need to get it out of the record format and get it into a table so we can start looking at what we've got. To do this, we need to do an advanced edit and put in table dot from records, an open bracket, and then at the end of the line, put a closed bracket. We hit done and magically the data turns into a table. Now we can see more clearly what the records are that we have. We can use the column chooser to get rid of any columns that we don't want to look at. Over to the right, we can see the steps that we've applied. And then some of these columns contain additional information. What you'll see when you click on individual cells, you'll see a box down at the bottom left, which displays the data. If you press the button at the top right of the column, we're able to expand the column. Uh, in this case, the relationships expand to multiple rows. If we do uh, an expansion again, we'll be able to make those rows display the source and target objects, object A and object B. As we can see, that's displaying records still, which isn't much use to us. So if we go for an expand again, we'll see that actually within that record, there's an ID. So for both the object A and object B, we can display the IDs of the objects that are involved in the relationship. Likewise, we can look at attributes. And attributes comes up with a big long list of numbers. These are the type IDs of the attribute. If we select one of them, we can see what's inside. Again, there's records. The record contains a type and a value. If we expand to see what the type and value are, we can click on the type, and in it you'll see at the bottom left what type it is, and it's a date range life cycle phasing out. So if we click on the value, we'll see there's a start and end date. We can expand that. Now you can see the start and end dates are available for some of the items. And we don't really need this column, so we'll just remove it. That gives a brief summary of how everything hangs together. You can see a preview of the information, and you can see your applied steps. If you uh, close and load the data, it will now load it into your Excel sheet. And once it's in there, you can use the data as you like. You can also go back and refresh the data at any time, and it will reload and retransform. I hope you enjoyed the third video in the series and are beginning to see how APIs can really extend the usage of our products into the wider ecosystem. Thanks for watching and come back soon for some more tutorials on how to get the best from Irwin products.